Hey, what's going on guys? Well, in this video I want to talk a little bit about catalytic converters. I just bought two new cats for my truck. Um, these are spun catalytic converters, which is something that's new to me. And that's kind of why I'm making this video, is to get feedback from you guys, especially the mechanics out there, um, you know, the car buffs, truck buffs. Um, you guys know way more about this kind of stuff than I do, so I want some feedback. I want some um, some information on people who use these things, ha know people that use them, uh, how they compare to like a standard or traditional catalytic converter. Uh, basically the difference between a spun cat and a traditional cat is the traditional ones have a ceramic base that the precious metals are integrated in. And I believe that it's either a honeycomb pattern or it is uh, like a bead type pattern. Okay, and if you don't know how they work, there's awesome, awesome videos on YouTube that'll explain this in detail, how catalytic converters work. But basically your exhaust flows through them and it's burning up the unburnt fuel and all kinds of stuff and it's making your exhaust way more environmentally friendly it's it's preventing knocks you know backfires stuff like that uh, it's very important on vehicles a lot of times people take the cats off to have a louder exhaust but then you sometimes have smoke issues you, you know it smells it's definitely not environmentally friendly not that everyone cares about that but Catalytic converters have been pretty much um, a standard thing on vehicles for a very long time. In fact, there are specific laws in every state about having a catalytic converter. Um, if you don't have one or if it's not properly working, you will fail for emissions tests, you know, to get your um, state inspections. In my specific situation with the truck, it doesn't have to be inspected anymore. So I'm not worried about, you know, inspection. Um, I do believe the spun catalytic converters, they... Uh, they're illegal in California. All right, so if you're watching this and you live in California, not something you can have there legally anyway. Um, but yeah, the big deal is that these are, the precious metals are basically integrated into a metal base as opposed to ceramic, okay? So your, your platinum, palladium, and rhodium are mixed into a metal honeycomb uh, or mesh as opposed to a ceramic, okay? The big deal is that they're very high flow. These, this I believe is a 400 cell, um, off the top of my head, I think there's a 300 cell and a 400 cell. Basically, it's allowing way more air to flow through faster. Therefore, you know, it's just a performance part. That's all. It's an upgrade. Uh, I was underneath my truck and I was poking around a little bit and I saw that my, um, uh, my muffler was more rusted on one side than I thought. So I wanted to replace them. I figured, well, okay, well, I'm already replacing those. I kind of want an upgrade, so I went with some Flowmaster Super 10s, and I got, got some new tailpipes. I'll, I'll do a different video about that. Um, and then I started thinking, well, I might as well take the cats off and clean them, at least, because I don't know how old they are. They, you know, they have a little bit of surface rust, but I don't think it's original to the truck because the exhaust system was changed when the, uh, the 350 was put into it, when it was converted. So it might not be that old, but I don't really know. So I'm thinking, well, I'm already doing this with the mufflers and tailpipes. Might as well just get new catalytic converters, right? Because uh, they can be cleaned. I don't know if you guys know that. Uh, cats can be cleaned. In fact, after a certain amount of time, they should be taken off and cleaned. I think soapy water can just be passed through them because they do gunk up, you know, and your performance is, is lacking because of it, you know. But anyway, on to these. Let's see, the specific ones are some Magnaflow 53956s. All right, two and a half in, two and a half out. And let's pop this out, take a look at them. A, a very small catalytic converter. I believe it's only eight inches long and it's only four inches at its widest, okay? Uh, the one thing I'm a little concerned is that these don't have heat shields. I don't know if it's necessary. Uh, the standard, you know, traditional catalytic converter does have a heat shield. They get very, very hot. Um, so they can start little fires if you park over some leaves and stuff. <laughs> if you remember, um, it's funny, the first time I ever learned that was watching Sopranos when his kid, you know, parks, uh, what was it? Nissan something, that yellow vehicle, he parks it over some leaves with it, hanging out with that girl and it catches fire and yeah. Anyway, that's when I first learned about that. Um, but yeah, they come pretty standard with the heat shield on there. I don't know if this uh, gets less hot or if I should put a heat shield on anyway. That's where you guys come in. That's where the professionals can help me out and give me some suggestions on that. But if you look in here, we can see the very fine honeycomb. All right, and again, it's not ceramic, it's a metal base. So just interesting, it's different. You know what I mean? It's something I haven't seen before. What I do really like about this is it's compact size and the higher flow I'm gonna get through there. All right, so anyway, I just wanna talk about this a little bit and really I kinda of wanted to just make this video so again, you guys can give me feedback to people who know what they're talking about because you know, I'm, I'm very new 
to, to cars and trucks. You know, I've always had an interest in vehicles, but not, uh, you know, not as much to, to really learn about how things work and, you know, about performance upgrades and all that kind of stuff. You know, I'm a guy. And for some reason, guys just have something inside of them that makes them like cool cars and cool trucks. So, you know, there's a lot of women that have that too. But some people really dive into it. Whereas, you know, most of my life, I went right into knives and guns and stuff like that, you know? So I never focused on vehicles, but now obviously, you know, having uh, to maintain vehicles as an adult and stuff, I'm much more um, interested in just learning how everything works so I can maybe save myself some money, do my own mechanical work. As you guys know, I have very poor experience with having to trust other mechanics, you know? I'm not saying there's no good mechanics out there. There's probably a great one even in my area. I just don't know about them, you know? So any work that I can do myself, is good it's going to save me money and i'm going to know that it's done right uh thank you very much in advance for any kind of information regarding this topic I'm very interested in uh, reading the comments and learning more about this kind of stuff if i can give a huge tip to the youth out there if you are a teenager watching this video trust me when i say this learn about cars okay you don't have to be you know an expert mechanic but learn some of the basic stuff in life about cars because a lot of us do rely on them obviously there's people watching this video from all parts of the world, you know, if you live in a city, you can get around in, trouble, in uh, excuse me, public transportation. You know, you don't, not everyone has a car, not everyone owns a car, but a lot of people out there do drive cars and vehicles and they do rely on them for, to get to work, you know, and, and to get to the store and pick up their kids and all that kind of stuff. If I have one thing I can go back and do over, that was uh, to learn more about vehicles when I was younger so that I can could have saved myself a lot of hassle and a lot of money by just working on stuff myself as opposed to relying on strangers to make sure that my vehicles are safe and sound and functional. All right, so again, if you're young and you don't know what you want to do in life, go be a mechanic and be a good one because we definitely need more of them. So anyway, that's all. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I will do another video showing the, uh, the mufflers and the tailpipes. If you're interested in that, you can see that video soon. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.